Good evening. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Rick Garcia. Dangerous heat moving into Southern California this weekend. Our beach is already getting packed today. And the Inland Empire is already looking at triple digits, and it's just beginning. This oppressive weather could be around through much of next week. CBS 2's Craig Herrera took our weather lab out to Woodland Hills to show us how people in the San Fernando Valley are handling the heat. Craig? Hey there, Rick and Pat. Yeah, here it is, CBS2 Mobile Weather Lab, and I have to tell you, it is hot. I've gone through almost a case of water, I bet, today. Right now, it's 98 degrees right here in Woodland Hills, but just about an hour ago, we got up to 102. Bone dry, 17% relative humidity, and not much of a wind at all. Nine uh, coming in out of the north, less than one mile per hour. Just off to the uh, behind me here, there's a park, and normally on a Friday evening, this would be very full, but that's not the case today. And of course, with heat in the forecast for several days, boy, this could be dangerous. When the temperature goes above 95 degrees in Woodland Hills, it's time to take the Frisbee game under the trees. Because it's too hot and I want to be cool. Fresh squeezed lemonade or an ice cream sundae would hit the spot right about now. Warner Park is mostly empty, but one woman is running around it. Does the heat bother you at all? Three, four days of it? No. <laughs> What's got you motivated? I need to get in shape. Construction workers in downtown LA were covered head to toe, and U.S. postal carriers in shorts. A week of temperatures into the 90s and triple digits could add up. If you have a prolonged situation, it can stress people in different ways. Dr. Jonathan Fielding says play outside early. Thirst doesn't tell you how much you need to drink, so two to four glasses of, of non-alcoholic liquids every hour. It's important to check on the elderly, young kids, and pets, but even healthy people can be in danger. If people are getting dizzy, if they're being faint, if they have a rapid pulse, um, and they're sweating profusely. Those are signs of heat exhaustion. Dr. Fielding says that's when it's time to look for shade and watch for more signs. They're not sweating at all. They may have a seizure if their temperature is over 104. That's a medical emergency. That's when you call 911. And out on the road this Father's Day weekend, Caltrans says it's time to really be alert. And Caltrans wants to remind us to bring snacks, water, and medication just in case you have any delays while on the road. All of this heat can make people tired and drowsy, especially behind the wheel. And make sure your AC is working and consider making stops every two to three hours to let your engine cool. All right, you're looking live now at that sunshine. So hot. Uh, air quality expected to be unhealthful or very unhealthful. So people with upper respiratory problems should really take it easy out there. And Rick and Pat, this is just uh, first or second day of all of this heat. And with more of it in the forecast, boy, this could be a very long week. Yeah, that's, you're absolutely right about that, Craig, and we do appreciate your uh, participation out there.